What's up guys, GameBro13 here, and today I am doing another game review on Batman, Batman Arkham Origins. Um, let's see, oh, I actually have already reviewed this game. If you want to see it, um, I'm, I'll try and put a link in the description. I used to have, um, until I could upload to YouTube, which was just recently that I started uploading, um, I had like a YouTube channel on Facebook almost, and there's a bunch of videos on there. Um, because you can upload, it's easier to upload to Facebook. Um, but then we got faster internet, and I was able to upload to YouTube. So, um, but I, I would upload so many videos there. I have a lot there. I was thinking about just getting them on my computer and transporting them, but then that would just be lazy. So I'm going to review all the games over again. So here is Arkham Origins for the PS3. It's at GameStop pre-owned for $15, but you can get it new at Walmart for 20 Wait, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Um, it's like 20 everywhere brand new, and, and well, I mean, GameStop's 15 pre-owned. Um, now, a lot of people didn't like this game because, you know, you got Arkham Asylum, then you got Arkham City. I actually haven't finished Arkham Asylum yet, and I don't own Arkham City, but I'm going to be finishing Arkham Asylum. The three games that I want to get this year are um, Infamous 2, Arkham City, and Uncharted 1. Because I have the other two, but I don't have the first one. Um, I'm weird like that because I played this one before Arkham Asylum. <laughs> um, but, let's see. The story, it just starts off, you know, Batman. Being Batman. Just chasing bad guys. Not much to say about the story because, well, I can't remember. How does the story. Oh, you're cha tracking down the. How many assassins are there? I think there's six. Let's see. I might say. Yeah, it doesn't say, but it just says Black Mask's assassins. Um, They put. He puts, I think, Black Mask, he puts a $50 million reward for the assassins. The assassins are. Deathstroke, my personal, like, favorite DC villain. He's just amazing. Deathstroke, Killer Croc, um, Lady Shiva, Deadshot, Copperhead, uh, and Bane. I think, I think I was right. I think there's six. Um, and it's rated T, um, so if I do a series on this, make sure if you're under age, if you're under 13, or just ask your parents first, or if you're if you're if you play this game. I mean, nowadays you see like six year olds playing Call of Duty, so um, I I don't play that, not my thing. But anyway, um, all in all, I would give this a nine point four, not as high as Infamous, I, because I just think Infamous had better qualities. Um, Oh, but the graphics on this are just amazing. See, the one thing that got me on GameStop, you can see, like, the little, like, red lines, like, that they summarized to get the ratings. Um, and then they, like, ha they have, like, gameplay, graphics, lasting appeal, stuff like that. Um, they rated the graphics lower than Arkham Asylum, just, I think just because they didn't like the game itself as much. Um, I personally am liking this better than Arkham Asylum, but I haven't finished it yet, so I can't really say that. But all I do know is the graphics are better in this one, but even though they didn't like the game as much, I think people just rated it lower, like, for everything. Um, I still enjoy, love playing this, but maybe it's just because it was my first Batman game, I don't know. I really liked it, so it just kind of annoyed me that people rated the graphics lower, even though the graphics are better, in Arkham, are better than Arkham Asylum. Um... So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review, and stay tuned for maybe, I might start a series of Would You Rather today. Hopefully, I'm not sure, though, I'm still thinking about it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review, um, let me know if you want to see, like, a review for our other games. Anyways, Karen Bro 13 out.